What's up, YouTube? Uh, so, uh, tonight I've got a Wi-Fi battle for you. Um, I haven't had a lot of good Wi-Fi battles today, so um, this is probably the best one I had today. Um, also, Lady Crimson sitting on, on this one as well, because she can. Sup, guys? Sup. Oh, yeah, uh, before this uh, battle starts, I quickly just want to say that we are live streaming again this weekend. Um, Hopefully we won't yeah. be dead, yes. dead tired as we were yes. before. <laughs> um, well, we're always dead tired. Oh, anyway. well, we yeah. had outdoor cricket. Yeah, and stuff like that, and internet dropouts and all that sort of thing, so... Yay. Um, it should be, all, should be all good this um, should be all good this stream and uh, so obviously same place and everything and if you want to know where that is it's all in the description and stuff like that um, um, any other links you want to see in there as well go to them so anyway uh, this is a battle I had today I'm pretty sure um, I think I had it today well at least I registered it today um, I think it was today, or it was early in the morning sometime. Anyway, I didn't have a lot of good battles, as I mentioned, so this is probably the best one I had. So mostly a OU sort of lineup team there, and a couple of other randoms. Um, okay, so Skarmory lead. Now, Spike lead. Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking. Spike or Taunt. Spike or Stealth Rock is probably my first two thoughts. So I was thinking to go into Magma here, because it's obviously going to set something up, um, one of the setup traps. Um, I just went for Focus Blast here because I knew that Skarmory would swap out and um, it might do some damage, incoming damage to something. Unfortunately, Azumarill comes in and it's not so going to be... that's a great switch, yeah, actually. It's not going to be very effective um, to that. Special but Defense I a, Drop. I get a Special <laughs> Defense Drop, which is something, I guess. Not that I was going to stay into this thing anyways. Uh, my best swap in for this is, other than my walls, is my Leaf on because I know that I can take, take an Aqua Jet. Uh, priority Aqua Jet and a lot of these are... Belly drum variants as well, and just go belly drum, aqua jet, that sort of or um, sub belly yeah, drum, that sort of thing. Um, sub sort of doesn't isn't used as much because of the. Um, moves I see going, it now moves going, again. Yeah, moves going through subs, and, uh, subs and that kind of thing. Anyway, so aqua jet hits me really hard. There was a crit, so um, that sort of sucked. But anyway, I'm going to take that zoom roll down with leaf blade anyway, which was good. Um, get that thing out of the way. It's pretty strong. Crit as well. Yeah, not that it even mattered. But Leafion is a bit of a beastly defensive yes or kinder anyway that sort of yeah. it, it is it's definitely is defensive so in comes uh absol i sort of thought uh sucker Wunch would be coming here um after the mega evolution obviously i knew that'd be mega revolving um so i just went for x scissor anyway there was no point but um for some reason they, they didn't, didn't go, go for x sucker. scissor uh, yeah they went sucker punch they may just have been carrying uh night night slash. slash i've seen a lot of them without sucker punch actually um he could have even thought you predicted that went for the sword maybe. dance. Or, and then, yeah. or maybe, not really. That would have been any point doing that. It probably would have been better or swapping you switched. out. Yeah, yeah, probably a switch or that. Anyway, so I knew Skarmory would come back in because he sort of already showed me that and he wants to get more spikes up. Um, so this time, I think I went for overheat here. Um, yes, I did go for overheat, doing some uh, nice damage to anything coming, but it missed. And of course, it's again to drag on. How ironic is that? Um, so I thought this thing might go for just... Dragon Dance or something like that. So my best option here was to go into Bassadon because I know the only move that could really hit me hard would be Earthquake. Um, Maybe Fire Punch if it's a tutor move. Yeah, um, Fire Punch. I don't think it's a tutor move. It is. It's, it's, it's a it? tutor. It's a tutor move. Um, speaking of Fire Punch, there you go. <laughs> uh, but I knew I could I could live Fire Punch. I was quite happy with that. That was a crit as well. Unfortunately, I get a burn. Um, I don't really run Fire Punch on my Dragon on it. Um, Anyway, I just went for Metal Burst. I did nice damage. Um, judging on the fact that it was a crit, I thought, oh, I might be able to get another stealth, like a stealth rock up. And not another stealth rock, because of course you can only lay one stealth rock. <laughs> Imagine if we have layers of stealth rocks, that'd be crazy. Anyway, so as I said, I knew that I could probably live another fire punch, so um, even after the burn, so I can throw those stealth rocks up. That might be handy, getting rid of any annoying little items or sturdy or sash or anything like that. Or multi scale. Yes, anything like that. So. Metal Burst is going to finish the Dragonite off, and I think... I don't reckon it will. I reckon it's going to miss. Well, it's going to get close. It's not going to miss. It's not going to miss. Miss the KO. <laughs> you know what I meant. We're getting pretty close to finishing it off, of course. Um, anyway, so I'm going to bring in my Kekamon. Dragonite cannot swap out because there's Stealth Rock now on the field. So I know I'm obviously going to get outsped here, um, and I'm just going to go for the Protein Shadow uh, Sneak. If I didn't have Protein, that definitely probably wouldn't have even killed... Dragonite is pretty bulky. Um, so that's out of the way, which is good. 
and I'm just getting a little bit of leftover recovery. And I love my little Kecleon set, it's so awesome. Okay, anyway, um, so what do we got? We got um, Skarmory again. Now, I thought, well, there's not really much point in me staying in there because I'm going to be power up punching that thing all day. Probably get, could even go for Brave Bird and one shot me. So, uh, into Magma again. I thought it might try and set up its last layer of spikes, which it does. So, it's got three layers of spikes on the field. Um, which is not really fun for your magma. No, not really. So, which is sort of, he's sort of swapping and swapping, forcing me to switch continually. But I'm sort of getting rid of his counters coming in as well, just spamming overheat. That's what I can do. Um, so anyway, overheat hits this time, and um, it won't light this one. It's not even. going to light the Nidder Queen, which is a cool poke. I, I I like the fact that they use this, and um, I didn't really want to stain with that because Nidder Queen can be quite fast, and I know um, I don't. I don't really like that special defense drop either, and it could miss, so it's a little bit too much at stake there, and I definitely wouldn't have lived that Earth Power. Um, so Kecleon's going to take that with Another a crit. crit. Yeah, wow. Lots of crits going on in this battle. Crit for you, crit for you, crit for everyone. Yeah. Um, so what was I going to do? Okay, Shadow, Shadow Sneak. Sneak again. Now, I wasn't too sure if this one was going to kill, because Nidoqueen Queen can be bulky as well. It's more bulky than like a sweeper, but um, it sort of can be do both roles as well. Um, so I knew Earth's Power wouldn't kill because of the damage on the critical hit before. Um, and This I, is probably a sheer force set, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm not too sure what the hell it was. Um, so instead of me going for recover, I couldn't really go for recover there either because it would have outsped me and probably finished me off or got very, very close to and uh, the X incoming poke could easily pick me off this revenge kill me I would have laughed if poison point kicked in <laughs> that would have been awesome depends if I had that ability I, yeah. don't, th I don't think it probably would have um, oh wait that, okay so that was the third layer of spikes of course um, so I just wrote the thunder wave on Skarmory here because and um, that was sort of my uh, my best option to do that plus no more counters to switch out yeah. for magma I think this I th he had about two pokes left and I still had four or three, I think. Um, now, there wasn't a lot of me point me staying there. I could have gone for power-up punch, power-up punch, power-up punch, but it, it could probably just roost and Brave Bird kill me. Um, I was hoping that it wouldn't go for Brave Bird there, but I get a power hacks, which was, you know, which was good. I was, um, I was thankful for that. And obviously, uh, there's no more swap-ins to go into, so Skarmory's going to go down to the overheat. Um, now you actually probably find out why that they didn't swap the Skarmory out as well. Uh, their last poke was Whimsicott. Now that wouldn't have liked it. Um, unfortunately here, right here, they I think they forfeited the match. Yes, they did. Now, um, I'm pretty sure Whimsicott would have outsped me. They and Didn't they still have abs off? No, I, I finished abs off early on the match um, with X-Scissor. Oh, yeah, did too. Um, but I say, I say Whimsicott probably would have taken me out and... If it had any moves, usually it's a utility set. Yes, a lot of the time it's utility, or it could have just it could have had substitute and just continued to sub down. Why I leech you know, seeded maybe leech seed and over, well, overheat loses loses its its uh, special like attack drop or or I miss. So it probably would have been if you stayed in. It, might, it may have been a three zero. So um, yeah, that's about all for this battle. But I did like the fact that they used Nitto Queen in such a uh, uh, over. <laughs> overused team um, and yeah it's as you said it's mostly a bulky poke not really a sweeper yeah. plus it's a bit slower than Nidoking that does have pranks though so it could have as I said it could have done some really annoying things we're talking I, about Nidoking oh sorry I thought you were talking about Wimsicott. no I was talking about Nidoking oh Nidoking's got some nice speed depends what set it is it can be run quite a few different sets but um, as I was, I was actually talking about Whimsicott it may have even though I had an overwhelming advantage um it could have missed or something. It probably would have missed knowing my lockers. <laughs> I <laughs> usually know them as utility sets, yeah. not really sweepers. Yeah. Well, they normally have like three annoying moves or and one move that I don't know. Like. I know Leafion yeah. would have. If you did, you still have Leafion. I did. Yeah. Yeah, that would have walled it. I'm sorry. I don't think I had it. It 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 died to life orb damage. It but, did too. Um, yeah. Anything could have come in and beat it. I think I had. I still had Kecleon. Uh, so I kept, if it did go down, I still had Kecleon, which would have you probably... You still have a Mola. A Mola. That might not have done good. have had a Grass move or Leech Seed. Um, Rampardos of had sub, was yeah, still there. Rampardos probably would have been the one the one to do that. But anyway, uh, that's all I want to do for this battle. Um, 
if you want to come to our live stream, guys, it's, we're going to be doing that at the same time as we always do on the weekend. So check that one out. Uh, thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Peace out. Peace out.